Okay, hello guys, hello. Hello teacher, good evening. Hi, good evening. So how are hello, you guys? Teacher. I'm good. Okay, Thank perfect. You for asking. Perfect, very nice guys. So well, uh, let's see, let's wait a couple of minutes, okay, because it's already 7.55, okay. So guys, uh, do you have any question about the platform, about the exercises? Yes, no? No. Okay, very cool, guys. Yes. Yes? Tell me. Yes. Okay. So do you have questions about the exercises, guys? Yes, no? No, right. Hey, very yeah. cool. So, well, guys, let's wait, you know, a couple of minutes, okay, for your classmates to join, okay? So, it's already, okay, 7.56. So, if you have any question, guys, about the platform, about the exercises, okay, you can let me know, right? But if you don't understand any topic that we have seen, you can ask, right? So, welcome for the ones that are joining. Welcome. Okay, so let's see. Let me show you the screen, guys. So, well, guys, for today's class, okay, we are going to finish unit number four, okay, or section number four, okay. We are going to finish it, and you know, we are going to learn about this, okay, these grammar things that we have seen. So, we are going to see, guys, okay, about daily routines, okay. And also about adverse of frequency, okay? And besides that, we are going to have a reading, okay? That reading we will be doing at the end, okay? And that reading, we are going to do it in groups, right? So, well, guys, let's see. Let's wait, you know, a couple of minutes for you, the rest of you, okay? So, welcome, the ones that are joining. If you have any question guys about the platform you have inconvenience you can let me know okay so let's see okay let me show you now the presentation so guys let's see you remember that yesterday guys we were discussing about this right you remember about breakfast you see that okay in so many countries okay they have difference we oh, sorry different breakfast right so as you see in us okay we have a different kind of breakfast than japan and mexico right guys let me ask you what is the um the breakfast the common breakfast in el salvador tell me guys cuál es el desayuno más común en el salvador guys tell me pupusas okay. they usually eat pupusas <laughs> coffee okay <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's common, but I mean, it's not healthy, right? Not saludable. But what about guys when we eat scrambled eggs? Cuando comemos scrambled eggs. So for breakfast, guys. Okay. We was uh, revueltos scrambled eggs. Okay. So we used to eat the scrambled eggs, beans. What else, guys? Cream or cheese? coffee, chocolate, okay? So many of these things, right, With guys? Platanos. Okay, yeah. So... Pancakes. Okay, pancakes. Yeah, some people used to eat pancakes. Guys, let me ask you this question. Do you eat fruits, okay, fruits for breakfast? Yes, no? No, yes, sure. Yes, sometimes. sometimes, sometimes. Okay, very cool. So, guys, today, okay, we are going to see about let's see with the daily routine. So, yesterday, guys, you were discussing these questions, right? So, today, I'm going to ask you, okay? So, let's see, I'm going to choose some of you. Let's start with Christopher. Hello, Christopher. Hello, teacher. Christopher, let me ask you, what do you eat in the morning? Mm, chocolate with pupusas. Okay, very nice. Now let's see, let me ask Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. 
Hello, teacher. Hi, Evelyn. Uh, what do you eat for lunch? Tell me. Is fish and salad and sautés. Okay. Potatoes. Algo así se dice. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Very nice. Now let's see, Melissa. Hello, Melissa. Good night, teacher. Good night, Melissa. Let me ask you, what do you eat for dinner? Repeat. Yeah. What do you eat for dinner? The third question, Esther. I eat it, uh, mm -hmm. bread white ham and, bread. The, and the milk. Okay. Interesting. Now, Selma. Hello, Selma. Hello, teacher. Hi, Selma. Let me ask you the fourth question. What do people usually eat in El Salvador for breakfast? Tell me. Okay. Um, they usually, or we usually eat mm -hmm. pupusas. Okay. Very nice. Perfect. Now, let's see. Uh, let me ask you to Brenda Isabel. Hello, Brenda. Hello, teacher. Hi, Brenda. Uh, let me ask you this question. Tell me your daily routine. Okay, uh, wake, up, wake up, I get up, get dressed, mm -hmm. I wash my face, I brush my teeth, okay. uh, come home, drop my son off at school. Okay. I exercise, exercise, oh, exercise. I do exercise, okay. Okay, I go out to roll. Uh, okay. I do daily travels. Okay. Watch TV. Mm -hmm. uh, have lunch. I help my son with his homework. homework. Okay. Uh, okay. Play basketball mm -hmm. and my dinner. Make okay. Dinner. Okay. <laughs> so she's very busy during the day. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay. Very nice. So, well, guys, let's see. Now, guys, let me show you, okay? Here I have, okay, a presentation for you. Let's see. Where do I have it here? So, guys, let's see. Let's, you know, talk about daily routines, okay? Let's see. So, now you can see my screen, right? So, guys, let's see. Here I have an example, okay? So, how can you explain your daily routine, okay? So, first of all, we have, Phineas and Fred usually get up at 8 a.m., okay? They take a shower at 8.30 a.m., okay? After taking a shower, Phineas and Fred get dressed, okay? Se viste. What else? Phineas and Fred have breakfast at 9.30 a.m., okay? Also, after having breakfast, Phineas and Fred brush their teeth, okay? This is brush teeth, okay? And they never go to school, right? They stay, okay, planning different projects. Sometimes Phineas and Fred have lunch at 12 a.m. Now they build amazing things every day, right? So perfect. Now, guys, let's see. About this example, guys, you are going to do something right now, okay? So in a piece of paper, or in a Word document or in any place that you can write, you are going to write your daily routine, okay? So for example, guys, you are going to say, okay, I wake up at 6 a.m. I get dressed at 8 a.m. I take a shower at, okay? And you're going to mention the hour, okay? So now guys, we are going to do this exercise right now, okay? So you can do it in any, okay? place that you can write okay at least okay guys try to write all your daily routine okay what you do during the day you have this vocabulary here so you can take advantage of this but if you want to look for more you can do it got it guys got it about the activity we are going to do right now yes se entiende lo que vamos a hacer chicos eh, hacer la rutina de cada uno verdad con las imágenes de referencia uh, Sin imágenes, ya, pero 
van a escribir, chicos, ya sea en, en papel, en su cuaderno, en un documento Word, en, en las notas, en cualquier lugar, su daily routine, ¿ok? Como los ejemplos anteriores, ustedes van a poner, I wake up at 6 a.m., por ejemplo, ¿ok? Van a mencionar la hora y qué hacen en cada uno, ¿ok? Tienen este vocabulario para apoyarse o pueden igual buscar otro o el que ustedes ya sepan, ¿ok? So, let's see, guys. This is very easy, okay? Ustedes solo van a tener que poner la hora y qué hacen, ¿ok? So, let's start doing it. Let's see, let's give you five minutes, ¿ok? It's too much. So, let's see, guys. Let's start right now, ¿ok? And at the end, send me the photo, screenshot, or document, whatever thing, ¿ok? To the WhatsApp group with your name, ¿ok? So, let's start, guys. Pueden tomar, ¿ok? De referencia a estas imágenes, so pueden... Ustedes, okay, agregar más. Ustedes gustan. So, come on, guys. Let's start. Teacher. Yep. Verdad, como ya habíamos hecho lo de la rutina, vea. Entonces, solo hay que agregarle la hora. Eh, sí. Usando el at. Exactly, sí. Necesito que lo escriban, okay. right? Que lo escriban y lo envíen, okay? Okay. okay. Sí. So come on guys, lo pueden hacer en su celular, ok, en un blog de notas, en un documento Word, ok, en cualquier lugar que pueden escribir, ok, it doesn't matter. Okay, I have here. So Salma, okay, let's check. Um, I wake up, okay. I brush my teeth, I wake up with my son. Okay, I eat my breakfast, I take my son to the school. Okay, very nice. Okay, cool. Very nice, perfect. Thank you, Salma. So come on, guys. What about the rest? This is very easy, guys, okay? So it's not like a big deal, right? So it's very basic vocabulary that you already know, right? So let's see now, guys. Let me also share you something. Let's see. Okay. So we're going to wait for the rest, okay, of you. Okay, Laurita, okay, very nice. Michelle, very cool, guys. Okay, nice. Okay, so guys, this is, okay, a very easy exercise, okay? So this exercise is for you, okay, in order to develop your skills, okay? Esto es para que ustedes, okay, aprendan, okay? Esto es bastante básico, okay? Y es algo que les va a ayudar bastante. If you want to express yourself in English. Si quieren hablar en inglés, I wake up at... Okay, very nice. So, guys, let's see. For the ones that we have finished, para los que terminamos, chicos. Let's see. Here we have vocabulary. So, how do you say this one, guys? Uh, watch TV. Hey, watch TV. Very easy. Now, this one. Study. 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 Perfect. Now, what about this one? Wash, Wash, your face. Face. Wash your face. Perfect. This one. Great comics. Great comics. Great comics. Nice. This one. Go to shopping. Go, Go to shopping. shopping. Go shopping. Perfect. Um, now, what about this one? 
Have lunch. Have lunch. Have lunch. Nice. This one. Go to the school. Go to the school. Okay. Go to school. Perfect. This one. Play, Play football. Okay. Nice. So if you see, guys, this is vocabulary that you can use for your daily routine, right? Now, what about this one? Go to bed. 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 Now, what about this one? Go, Go to, to the gym. gym. Go to the gym. Perfect. This one. Go to the gym. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Perfect. This one. Play with the dog. Play with the dog. Okay. Play with the dog. If you have a cat, play with the cat, right? And depend of your animal. Now, what about this one? Have a break breakfast. Have breakfast. Have a breakfast. Now yeah, this breakfast. one. Get up. Get up. Get up. Nice. Get up. Now, what about this one? Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Nice. This one. Have a shower. Take a shower. Take a shower or have a shower, right? It's the same. Have a shower. Now, what about this? Dinner. Have dinner. Okay, in this case, dinner. Okay. Very nice, guys. Perfect. Okay, so there is a dog that is barking. Okay. Let me mute, okay, guys. So, well, I guess, guys, we already know about daily routine. So, now, guys, let's see. Because I want to see... If you remember about simple present, okay, the rules when we add S, guys, la regla del simple present, guys, vamos a realizar este ejercicio, okay, individual. Some, you will see, okay, here are some, okay, words that you only have to select. This is very easy, okay, bastante fácil, guys, so you don't have to worry about it, okay. Uh, les voy a enviar el link, chicos, ya está aquí en el chat box de Zoom. Déjenme mandárselo al grupo de WhatsApp, by any chance. So let's start doing this exercise, guys. Iniciamos haciendo este ejercicio, guys. Let's see. It's very easy, okay? So you are not going to take longer, right? So come on, guys. Let's see. You only have to select the correct one. Este es acerca del simple present, right, guys? Que ya vimos donde agregar S, cuando no y cuando sí, right? So come on, guys. Okay, if you have any questions, you can let me know, okay? Okay, Eliseo, perfect, very nice. Okay, 10 of 10, that's cool. Perfect, okay, let's see, Michelle. Okay, nice. So you see, guys, it's not complicated, right, Roberto? Okay, so it's very easy, right, guys? It's not, I mean, this is about simple press, and then you already know about this, right? So come on, guys, let's, let's give you, your classmate, a couple of minutes, okay, to finish this exercise. So come on, guys. Okay, I have Isabel, okay, Selma, perfect, guys, perfect. I can see that everybody is getting good scores, so that's nice. 
So you see, guys, it's not complicated, right? So let's see, guys, for the ones that we have finished, what is this one? A or B? A. Okay, very nice, A. because it's she, right? Gets. Gets. Cool. Now, what about this one? A or B? A. 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 Perfect. A. This one? B. 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 A. This one? B. B. Okay, very nice. What about this one? Play. A. 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 Nice. This one? Does. A. A. Nice. A. This one? B. 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 Perfect. This one? B. B. Okay, nice. This one, guys? A. 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 Very nice. And let's see the last one, guys. This one. A. A. Okay, perfect. Oh. Cool. Okay, so I can see that you don't have any convenience. So, guys, do you have any question about this exercise? Yes, no? No. Alguna pregunta? Okay. Very nice, guys. So, let's see them. Let's move on, guys, because we have, okay, to see about something that we have, okay, on the platform. So now, guys, we are going to talk about adverse of frequency, okay? So do not worry, this is very easy, okay, guys? So let's see. We have this adverse, okay, are this one. If you see, it's always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never, right? If you see here, guys, here we have, okay, the percentage of each one. Okay, always is at the top with a hundred percent. A never is zero, right? So, guys, when to use this one? It's very easy, okay, guys. So, los adverbs of frequency will be always after the subject. Los adverbios de frecuencia, chicos, van a ir siempre después del sujeto, okay? I, you, he, she, okay? E, Peter, okay? Paolo, okay? Van a ir siempre. So, for example, I always eat breakfast, okay? So, guys, let's, okay, in your house, guys, pronounce this, one, okay, with the microphone off. Este no es always, es always, always, okay? No pronunciamos la L, la A es como una O, always, always, okay? Usually, usually, yep. Yeah. Decía que los adverbios de frecuencia van después de el sujeto. Okay. En este caso tenemos aquí este ejemplo I, ok. El sujeto, recordemos, puede ser I, you, he, uh, Fátima, Pedro, ok. Cualquier sujeto, ok. Van a ir always after, ok. Van a ir siempre, ok. Después. So tenemos, ok. Usually, guys, the pronunciation usually. Esto, chicos, no pronunciamos la T. Often, ok. Often, often. Sometimes. Okay, sometimes, hardly ever, hardly ever, okay, y never, never, okay. So, guys, sometimes es una abstracción, okay, porque sometimes puede ir antes, okay, del sujeto, okay, puede ir después o puede ir antes, okay, only sometimes, solo sometimes, okay, puede ir antes o después, exactly. So, guys, but... What about when we have the verb to be? Si nosotros tenemos el verbo to be, chicos, ¿ok? El adverbio de frecuencia irá después del verbo to be, ¿ok? En este caso no tenemos el verbo to be. El verbo to be recordemos am, is, are, ¿ok? Si está el verbo to be, el adverbio de frecuencia irá después del verbo to be, ¿ok? Now, guys, let's see, ¿ok? Yeah, well, here I have this one for you to watch better, ¿ok? Aquí, chicos, ¿ok? Tenemos como... The pyramid, okay? So always 100%. Usually 90%. Often 70%. Sometimes 50 We have other words like occasionally, seldom, rarely, and never, okay? These are extra, right? You want to write it down. So you always, guys, siempre. Usualmente, regularmente, a veces, ocasionalmente, Rara vez y nunca, ¿ok? 
Now, guys, how to create a sentence with this? One? Okay, let's, you know, take a look about this one. So let's start with the first one, guys. Como crear una oración? First of all, guys, el sujeto. Give me a subject, guys, please. Give me a subject, guys. Dime un sujeto. She. Okay, she. Ahora, advert of frequency. Dígame un adverbio de frecuencia, chicos. Often. Seldom. Often. Okay, she often a verb. Let's see, play. Okay. She often play. plays soccer okay so this is one right now let's see another one you always okay uh eat let's see pizza okay so you see primero el subject el sujeto right luego el adverbo de frecuencia el verbo y el complement right now let's see let's take a look another one but um with sometimes so sometimes, okay, my uh, mother watch TV, okay? Ahora, chicos, si yo quiero mover sometimes, igual lo puedo hacer. My mother sometimes watch TV. You see? Like this one. Sometimes ustedes lo pueden mover, okay? Puede estar antes o puede estar después, okay? Teacher, ahí el verbo watch yeah. no se le debe por ser mi mamá. Ella. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yes. Watches. Yes. Sorry. I apologize. I, I forgot. Yeah. Watches. Okay. So sometimes my mother watches TV. Okay. My mother sometimes watches TV. Thank you. I, for, I forgot. I made a mistake. But well, guys, okay. let's see. Thank you. So remember, guys, the rules apply, okay? La regla siempre aplica, aunque utilicemos los adverbios de frecuencia, okay? Now, guys, let's see. Give me another subject, guys. A subject? We? We, perfect. An adverb of frequency, guys. Never. We never, perfect. Now, a bear, guys. Go. We never go. Perfect. And the compliment. Let's see. We never go, go to, the, to the park. Right to the mall. The to, the gym. to the gym. Okay. The gym. Yeah. That that's gym. more realistic, right? More realistic. Perfect. <laughs> we never go to the gym. Perfect. Very nice, guys. Now let's see. This is a way we can do it. Now, guys, how we make a question? ¿Cómo hacemos una pregunta utilizando los adverbs of frequency, guys? Let's see. First of all, guys, lo, ya que lo estamos haciendo en el simple present, vamos a utilizar el auxiliar do or does. Va a depender del sujeto. Let's start with do, okay? Do, sujeto, you. Then we have ever. Ahora un verbo. Do you ever play, let's see, basketball? Okay. ¿Has jugado basketball? Okay. Has jugado basketball? Do you ever play basketball? Okay. Now, yeah. let's see. Give me another, guys. Give me, let's see. Let's start with, yeah. Give me a subject, guys. He. He, okay. And that's the auxiliar does, right? Does he ever, a verb, guys. Read. Okay, read. And let's see a book. A book. So, ha leído él un libro? Okay, like this one, right? Ever. Now, guys, besides this one, okay, aparte de esto, chicos, hay otra, okay, una pregunta que es bastante común, okay, que es this one, how often? What is this one, guys? How often? ¿Con qué frecuencia? Exactly. ¿Con qué frecuencia? How often? Let's see, do you read books? Okay. ¿Qué tan a menudo, con qué frecuencia, qué tan regularmente lees libros? Okay. So how often, guys, es una pregunta que se hace para preguntar qué tan a menudo. Okay. How often do, okay. Si queremos utilizarlo con third person, how often does he, okay, uh, read books? Okay. You see, guys? 
So, how, si yo les hago esta pregunta, how often do you eat, let's see, pupusas? ¿Qué tan a menudo comen pupusas, right? So, always. Uno, okay, always, you see, on, always, uno más decir always, otros sometimes, y otros never, right? So, do we understand so far, guys? ¿Entendemos hasta aquí más o menos? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, very nice. So well, guys, now let's see, because I want to see if all of you understand. Let's see, let's make, you know, this exercise. So guys, this is about just always and never, okay? Let me, uh, what is that? Let's see. Sorry, it's just a stop. Okay, guys, so what do you think is the correct one in this one? My sister washes the dishes. Tengo una X aquí. What do you think? Never. Never. Never, exactly. If you see subject, adverb frequency, verb, and the complement, you see? Now, what about this one? Always. 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 I always, always feed the dog. You see? Always. Subject, adverb frequency, verb, and complement. Now, this one. My mother. Always. Always. Perfect. Now, this one. Never. Never. Okay. Never. If Never. you see, guys, the rule respect, okay? La regla se respeta. Aunque ustedes agreguen el verb adverb frequency, siempre aplica la tercera persona, okay? Now, guys, my brother and I. Always. 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 Very nice. Okay, guys. Now, let's see. Now, guys, it's your turn, okay? So, guys, you have this exercise, okay? So, ustedes van a realizar este ejercicio, ¿ok? Este ejercicio ya les vienen con la respuesta, ¿ok? Ustedes solo tienen que adivinar, chicos, cuál es la correcta. Recordemos cómo es la estructura, ¿ok? Sujeto, adverb frequency, and verb, ¿ok? So, guys, eh, ya les estoy enviando el link ahorita en el grupo de WhatsApp y también está aquí en el chat box de Zoom, ¿ok? So, let's start doing this exercise, please. Empecemos haciendo este ejercicio, please. So, it's very easy, ¿ok? 12 questions, okay, solo 12 preguntas, okay, you, says you have to select just one, okay, so come on, guys. También recordemos, chicos, lo que les expliqué del verbo to be, si el verbo to be está, chicos, ¿qué les dije? Guys. Que va a ir al inicio. No. Que si el verbo to be estaba después del verbo to be, el, el verbo de frecuencia. Exactly. Si el verbo to be está, el adverb of frequency va a ir después del verbo to be. Perfect. So come on, guys. Let's start doing this exercise. Iniciamos haciendo el ejercicio. Okay. So come on. So if you have any question, guys, you can let me know, okay?
Okay, so I have the first one here. So Michelle, okay, 10 of 12, very nice. So what about the rest, guys? Come on. Okay. So come on, guys, let's see. Teacher, ¿puede repetir lo que dijo de último la compañera? Uh, lo del verbo to be. Yes, the adverb frequency, la verbo frecuencia va a ir siempre después del verbo to be, ¿ok? Si está el verbo to be, ok, el adverbio de frecuencia irá después, ¿ok? So let's see, let me share you the screen. So for you, let's see. Let's see here. So here we have this, right? So let me delete this one. So in this case will be, si tenemos el subject, okay? After the subject, vamos ir al verbo to be, okay? Then the adverb frequency, okay? And then will be the comp, well, the verb and complement, right? So for example, let's see subject, let's see she. The verb to be of she is, she is always okay uh late okay for dinner okay like this one so another one i i am never okay i am never on time for the class okay for the class you see in this case i guess we don't add verbs so just compliment so just like this one, okay? It has seen. So uh, let's see. Mm. So Michelle, give me a subject, please. Day. Day, okay. What is the verb to be for day? R. Okay, R. Now give me an adverb frequency. Often. They are often, okay. Ellos regularmente están o son. Uh, let's see. They are often. Estudiando. They are often studying. Okay. Ellos están regularmente estudiando. Right. You see. Like okay. this one. Remember, if we use the verb to be, si utilizamos el verbo to be, okay. If if you want to add a verb, si quieres agregar un verbo, el verbo to be. Eh, cuando agregamos el verbo to be, el verbo que tú agregues tiene que estar en ing, ¿ok? ing. Ok. So, perfect. Very nice. So, well, Thank guys. You. You're welcome. So, guys, let's see who has finished. Ok. Melissa. Ok, very nice. Uh, let's see. Ok, 9 of 12. Ok, do not worry, guys. Jennifer. Ok. Well, I see some of you had got it. Perfect, guys. So do not worry, okay? Let's see. Tal vez unos todavía seguimos un poco complicado, okay, guys? So let's see. Let's, you know, make it for everybody. Let's see. Tenemos el primero, guys. I to school in the morning. ¿Cuál sería, chicos? Always go. Always. Always go. Always go. Perfect. Always go. Now my mother in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. What never do you think? Is, uh, is never tired. Exactly. Recordemos. Uh, Verbo to be. Other frequency. Be. Yeah. Now, guys. My mom. My bed. Aquí no hay verbo to be. Así que. Usually make. Usually make. Makes. Recordemos. Uh, la S. Right? Makes. Uh, Now. Tom and his friends. Which one, guys? Are never. Are never. Exactly. Recordemos, okay. verbo to be, adverb frequency, right? Uy. Now, they French together. Which one, guys? Sometimes study. Sometimes study. Sometimes study. Exactly. Now, Patricia, chocolate. So... Never eat, it's never, never eat. Never eat, never eat. Never eat, never eat. exactly. Oh. Now, guys, we have this one. Bob, let's see, nervous on his literature test. It's okay. rarely. 
is rarely, exactly. Recordemos, rarely es otro adverb frequency, okay? raramente. Now, guys, my family and I always watch TV. Always watch TV. And hockey on Sundays. Often play. Often play. Often play. Often play. Exactly. Recordemos, right? Doctors, very busy. Are usually. 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 Are usually. Are usually. Doctors, usually. Doctors, it's plural, right? It's plural, right? How do you do your homework? Often. 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 Exactly. And that was the last one. So, you see, guys, 10, well, 12 of 12. So, guys, do we have questions so far? Yes? I guess some of you... Uh, get confused, right? So let's review one more time, okay? Guys, esto es un adverb frequency, okay? Esto es solo una lista, right? Aquí igual, okay, tenemos otra. ¿Cómo habíamos quedado, chicos? ¿Cómo era? Recordemos, primero es el sujeto, okay? Después del sujeto, sigue el adverbio de frecuencia, okay? Y luego sigue el verbo o el complemento, right? Exactly, pero... Si está el verbo to be, chicos, si hay verbo to be, ¿qué es lo que sigue, guys? Aquí está. Primero va el, el sujeto, luego el verbo to be, el adverbio, uy, sorry, el adverbio de frecuencia y el complemento, ¿ok? That's all you have to know, ¿ok? So, well, guys, let's see. Uy, sorry. Do we have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas, chicos? Yes, no. So well, let's no, let's no, take teacher. practice. Okay, vamos a tomar una practice. Let's yeah. see. I'm going to choose. Let's see who do I have here. Uh well, Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Hello. Hi, Brenda. Necesito que me digas una oración, okay? Utilizando un adverb de frequency. Let me see cuál será el que utilizarás. So. Now, uh, usually, okay. So, now, Brenda, give me an example, please. Um, I usually mm -hmm. uh, eat mm -hmm. uh, pizza. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Excellent. I usually eat pizza. Perfect. Now, let's see Roxana. Hello, Roxana. Hello, teacher. Hi, Roxana. Let's see. Give me a sentence, please. You seen? Let's see. Okay. Often. Okay. So give me a sentence using often, please. Oh, often. Quiero ver. Sería como con. Oh, es una pregunta. Mm -hmm. Una Sí, existen las preguntas de hago con frecuencia, pero, algo así. Exactly, pero me vas a dar una sentence, como por ejemplo, uh, Brenda dijo, I usually eat pizza, right? Ustedes pueden decir que me dejen una oración así, usando often. Uh, ok. Por ejemplo, I often. Digamos, uh -huh, con, digamos, voy a hacer algo de comer, sí. Yeah. Algo que hago con frecuencia, sí. Exactly, yeah. Okay, okay. I eat pupusas. Um, Austin, algo así, no sé. Mm, pero ¿cómo, ¿cómo es la regla? Primero va el sujeto, luego va el adverbio de frecuencia. Right? Entonces, primero dirías I y luego agregas este, que okay? often. I often. Uh, I often eat, sería, ¿verdad? Exactly. Eat pupusas frecuentes. <laughs> okay, very nice. Okay, like this okay. one. Perfect. Now let's see Cesar. Hello, Cesar. Hello, teacher. Hi, now Cesar. Let's see. Give me an example using, let's see. Uh, well, we have the same one, often. So give me an example using often, please. I often eat soup. Okay, very nice. 
Now let's see, let's delete off. Uh, and now let's type Barbara. Hello, Barbara. Hello, teacher. So let's see, let me give you, uh, okay. Now, Barbara, give me an example using sometimes, pero quiero que ocupes el sujeto she. She. Uh, mm -hmm. She sometimes read, reads a book. She sometimes reads a book. Okay, perfect. Now let's see, let's say Jacqueline. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, teacher. Hi, so you're going to be the last one. So Jacqueline, let's see, we have, well, usually. Now, Jacqueline, necesito que me deje un example using usually, vas a utilizar el sujeto um, he y el verbo to be. So give me an example. Uh, el, el sujeto, perdón. He, él, he. He usually plays. Eh, vas a utilizar el, el, el verbo to be esta vez. So, ¿cómo sería? Um, he is. He is. He is. He is. Mm -hmm. Usually, mm -hmm. um, play football. He is usually playing football. Okay. Si agregamos un verbo, okay. chicos, cuando está el verbo to be, si agregamos otro verbo, el verbo tiene que ir en ing. Okay. Sería playing, watching, okay, um, cooking, eating, okay. Pero si no agregamos verbo, solo el complemento podría ser He's usually a good boy. Él es usualmente un buen muchacho. Mm, understandable so far, chicos. ¿Es este entendible hasta aquí? ¿Un poco? Yes, no. Más so, o so. Y si so, repite so. eso que acaba de, de decir. Ok, no, perfecto. One more time, guys. Let's see. So, well, let's delete this one. So, chicos, let's see. Aquí tenemos la regla, ¿ok? ¿Cómo vamos a agregar un acento, ok? Aquí, chicos, let's see. Aquí tenemos como regalo, pero chicos, si después de la adverb frequency, cuando utilizamos el verbo to be, agregamos un verbo, el verbo tiene que estar en ing, ¿ok? So, let's see. Tomemos el ejemplo que nos dio Jacket. So, tenemos he is usually ok tenemos el verbo play ok pero en este caso le agregamos ing is usually playing soccer ok now let's make another one hagamos otra utilizando el you you are ok let's see give me an adverb guys Dígame an adverb frequency always You are always perfect. Ahora, give me a verb, guys. Un verbo. Dance. You're always dance. Ahora, chicos. Aquí, ¿cómo sería el verbo entonces? Sería así. Dancing. dancing. Perfect. You're always dancing in the party. Let's see. Okay. Now, guys, let's see. Let's make another one. Give me a subject guide. Dime, dame un sujeto. Aunque no esté haciendo la actividad en el momento. Exacto, aunque no la esté haciendo. So, they. Sí. They. Okay, they. El verbo to be the day is are, right? Now, give me an adverb frequency. Sometimes. They are sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes what, guys? A verb. And the beach. No, but room. Mm. Mm. They are room. Mm. What's the key, chicos? Running. 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 Okay, they are sometimes running, running right? Running. And you can finish like this. So, este chico es si nosotros queremos agregar un verbo. Pero si no queremos agregar un verbo, okay? Delete. Si no queremos agregar un verbo, simplemente, por ejemplo, they are sometimes um, 
They are sometimes, uh, let's see. Exercise. Mm, no, they are sometimes angry, okay? Ellos están a veces enojados, okay? Now, let's see. Cambiamos esto. He's usually a good boy, okay? You see? Esto ya no es verbo, okay? Aquí estoy agregando otras cosas, okay? Ya no es un verbo, okay? Yeah. Y por qué en el ejemplo de... Sería un complemento. Exactly. Yes. ¿Y por qué en el ejemplo de, de leer un libro uh -huh. solo agregamos ruidos? Uh, ah, porque he sometimes okay, reads uh -huh. a book. ¿Por qué crees? ¿Por qué crees? Let's see. Porque, porque no lleva el verbo. Exactly. Verbo. No está el verbo to be, oh. ok. Exactly. So, be careful, ok. Si está el verbo to be, chicos, y ustedes quieren agregar un, otro verbo, además del verbo to be, el siguiente verbo tiene que estar en ing, ok. So, guys. Entonces, ¿hmm? I have a question. Entonces, ahí se lo está el simple present. Exactly. Yes, yeah, simple present, exactly. Okay. So guys, let's see, because I can I can see that some of you, okay, have questions. So you are going to have a homework, okay, guys? Vamos a tener una tarea. So la tarea, chicos, you are going to make five, okay, examples, okay? Utilizando el verb, el adverse frequency, okay? Sorry, no sé por qué se puso el say. So vamos a hacer cinco examples, guys, okay? Utilizando el verbo to be y los adverse frequency, okay? Como aquí, okay? Let's see. ING, ok. So, vamos a hacer cinco examples así. Y cinco examples, guys. Ok. Sin el verbo to be, ok. Got it, guys? Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. So, that will be ok. So, you can send the homework. Well, tomorrow I'm going to ask you for the homework. Okay? Mañana, cuando iniciamos la clase, le voy a pedir que me envíen la tarea, ok, tomorrow ok guys and understandable what we are going to do se entiende lo que vamos a hacer chicos yes. la última parte como yes. le... yeah, la segunda va a ser sin verbo to be, ok, sin verbo to be ok, ejemplo sin de esto pero sin el verbo to be, ok, cuando no lleva el verbo to be recordemos, solo va a ser el adverb frequency, ok y lo demás ya es el simple present, right? So, for example, déjame un ejemplo para, para esto, ¿ok? Let's see. He is always running, ¿ok? Un ejemplo, right? He's always running. Y si agregamos complemento, in the morning, ¿ok? Él siempre está corriendo en las mañanas, ¿ok? Un ejem ejemplo es como así. Y para el otro, sin el verbo to be sería... He always run, okay, runs, sorry, in the morning. You see? Like this one. Got it, guys? Okay. Okay, perfect. Very nice, guys. So that will be for okay, tomorrow, teacher. okay? Now, let's okay. see, guys. Let's see. Because I need you, okay, to show you about the platform. Let's move to the platform, okay? So, la plataforma, chicos, tenemos esta actividad, ¿ok? So, this is, I know that some of you have finished this one, pero ahora que entendemos mejor, chicos, estos son scrambles, right? So, chicos, ¿cómo sería aquí? Tell me. I, I, exactly. I, I, primero es el sujeto. I, ever, 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 At work. Work. Ok, exactly. So, si ven, chicos, ¿qué va primero? El sujeto. El, sujeto. el adverbo de frecuencia. El, adverbo, el, verbo, el verbo. Y el complemento. 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 Exactly. Ahora vemos esto, chicos. ¿Cómo sería? I sometimes Now, the last one, guys. I, I often, often mm -hmm. have, have, have dinner, dinner, dinner 
with my family. With my family. With my, with my, with my family. family. Very nice. So let's see. So exactly, guys. All of them are correct. You see. También aquí abajo tengo la explanation, right? Sujeto, adverb of frequency, el verbo y el complemento. An example, I sometimes drink coffee. drink coffee. You see, guys? Like this one. So if you haven't finished, you can now see, right, guys? So, well, guys, I know some of you, okay, probably have, well, didn't know about this one. Probably uno de ustedes no sabía mucho, okay? So, el uso de adverb frequency, right? Solo para pasar el ejercicio, right? And that's very cool. Eso es bastante bueno. Pero recordemos que lo que está en la plataforma es como un, un vistazo, right? So, remember, there are more, okay? Hay más, okay? No solo eso. Aquí yo les he explicado, okay? Más, okay? Para que ustedes tengan en mente, okay? Si quieren utilizarlos. Now, guys, let's put into practice, okay? Practiquemos a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, we have time. So here I have some questions, guys. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes. Okay. Quiero, chicos, que ustedes respondan a estas preguntas. Okay. Al igual escrito. No es necesario que escriban la pregunta. Solo quiero su respuesta. Okay, guys. So let's start with the first one. Okay. Pueden escribirlo donde sea. Okay. So respondamos la primera, chicos. ¿Qué pasa si yo les pregunto, how often do you do exercise? Necesito que lo escriban, please. Solo la respuesta, ¿ok? How often do you do exercise? ¿Cómo lo responderían, chicos? Aquí recordemos que utilizamos adverbs of frequency. ¿Qué tan frecuente hacen ejercicio? I never do exercise. I sometimes do exercise. ¿Cómo, chicos? Tell me. Every day. Ok. Si es todos los días, ¿cómo sería? Every you can say I always every or every day, yeah. Now, guys, oh. let's see the second question. How often do you eat in a restaurant? Tell me, guys, okay? I need you to write it down. Esto que lo escribo, right? Escribirlo o tapiarlo, wherever, right? Donde sea. So, tell me, how sería, often? Mm -hmm. Como sería cuatro veces a la semana. Okay. Four times a week, okay? Four times a week. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah, let's see. Number three, guys. How often do you play video games? ¿Qué tan a menudo juegan videojuegos? Tell me, guys. Every, every day. Okay, you can write it down. Right? Pueden anotar. Okay. Now, vamos a ver. How often do you eat fruits, guys? ¿Qué tan a menudo comen fruit? ¿Les gustan las frutas? Okay, ¿Qué tan a menudo lo hacen? Okay, every day. Every uh, day. Okay, very. I sometimes eat fruits, okay. Um, I always. Okay, now. How often do you chat online, guys? Okay, ¿qué tan a menudo chatean, right? En línea. So tell me, guys. How often? Every you... time. Every time, every okay. Time. Okay, very nice. If you have time, you can do it, right? So, how often, guys? And the last question, right? How often do you listen to music? Okay, how often do you listen to music? I need you to tell me. How often? Que tan a menudo escucha música, chicos. Okay. So, tell me, okay? Sometimes. Sometimes, Every okay. Day. Every day. Every day. Okay, nice. Now, guys, if you have finished the answers, ya terminaron los de escribir, okay, donde sea, pueden enviarlo, okay, al grupo de WhatsApp. I need you to send it, okay? Necesito que envíen sus respuestas, okay? Necesito ver eh, si sabemos cómo contestar estas preguntas. Imagine, guys, imaginen que alguien que solo habla inglés le pregunta estas preguntas, okay? So, how often do you eat in a restaurant? How often do you eat fruits, okay? ¿Qué tan a menudo? Ahora ustedes ya saben qué significa, right? How often? Hey, guys. So, come on. If you finish, you can send it, okay? So let's see, guys. Well, we couldn't finish the reading. No podemos terminar el reading que teníamos, okay, para el día de hoy, but do not worry. Tomorrow we are going to finish, okay? So besides the reading, además del reading que tenemos, chicos, okay, pending, tomorrow is the exam, okay? Creo que muchos de ustedes ya lo terminaron, right? So that's cool. So tomorrow, yes, I have, we have an exam, no, right? Uh, no, it's section five. It's la section cinco, Pero... sorry. I thought it was the exam. Sure. 
let's see. Pero pensé que teníamos examen. No, no es examen. El examen es para la siguiente semana. What? Perfect. So tomorrow, guys, we are going, you know, just to have normal classes, right? So don't miss it. Okay. So no es necesario que escriban la pregunta, solo la respuesta, right, guys? Okay. So I have it here. Okay. Very nice. Sabel. Okay, Christopher. Cool. So perfect, guys. Let's see. Well, tomorrow, guys, remember, we are going to have classes. And next week is the last, right? La siguiente semana ya es la última. Okay, chicos, ya la otra semana ya finalizamos, right? The module. So perfect, guys. Let's see. Let's start here. Okay, guys, let's stop here. So, well, you know, nice to see you today, guys. And I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? So you can send me, okay, the screenshot or photos. So, guys. Have a good night and take care, okay? So see you tomorrow, okay? Bye, see guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.